request Professor Rajiv Kumar, Member Secretary, All India Council for Technical Edu Education, to give his special address. A huge round of applause for him, please. Thank you. Dignitaries on the dais, of the dais. First of all, I thank the organizers to, for giving this opportunity to share what we are doing or what the government of India are doing as far as integrating skills with the education. So I will share through this address because uh, probably I have five to 10 minutes to speak. Uh, I will share the initiative taken by the government recently, most recently uh, with all of you. As we know, Madam, that uh, after announcement of the national education policy, implementation was the big challenge. And the government came with a, another framework that is known as the national credit framework. And that national credit framework empowers that every program can have 50% curriculum of skills. They have can have 50% courses, up to 50% courses on skills. So that was the big change, integrating skills with the education, knowledge. And once the national credit framework was announced, so several universities, I know many universities, they implemented, they took the advantage of the national credit framework and they integrated skills, not 50%, say 40%, 35% in their curriculum with the help of the industry. Then the government realized that our institutions are facing problem in implementing this national credit framework. They are looking something from the government side to implement it, although it is not required, but it is our habit to take orders from the government and then to implement it. Then the government constituted one committee that is known as the core committee for implementation of the national credit framework. And the emphasis was how to integrate the skilling in the mainstream education. And that high level committee, they uh, further divided this work into three parts, one for the higher education, one for the uh, vocational or skill education, and third one for the school education. And these three committees, they framed the SOPs to integrate or to implement national credit framework in the education sector. Now the guidelines, SOPs, they have been finalized. I think today or tomorrow, they will be in the public domain for their comments, for the comments. So I request all of you, please read these guidelines. And these guidelines, they, they are not restrictive. They are enabling guidelines. Enabling guidelines mean that empowers you, whatever you want to implement in your institution, that empowers you. That's why I'm saying that these guidelines are enabling guidelines. And one of the main apprehensions of the institutions that many of the companies, ad tech companies, they are providing skill-based courses and our students presently, they are doing their courses. How to integrate these courses with the university curriculum? How we can count the credits of these courses? That was the big challenge. And we have given some directions because exact directions cannot be given. Each and every case is different in the nature. So we have given directions how to count the credits done through this way also in awarding the degree. As we know, this NEP empowers our students that they can customize our degree. They can choose their courses, whatever they want. So all these flexibility we have tried to kept in these guidelines, SOPs, which are going to come into public domain tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Now, again, I'm telling that universities, they have full freedom to incorporate if they have some understanding with the, uh, these companies, but everything should be transparent. Transparent in the sense that it should be mentioned, defined in your website, that you are counting these credits, number of credits are this much, everything should be transparent. So transparency is the foremost criteria in implementing the national credit framework. Even, even 
when we are talking our universities that they have big question on how to implement this uh, multiple entry and exit this is a big challenge in most of the universities presently we have given some of the guidelines that you can easily implement this multiple entry and exit and how it will be implemented we have suggested some measures but these measures they are not the unique measures you can innovate your measures on your own these are the enabling guidelines i said in the beginning please go through these guidelines implement that in aict also we are uh, we have kept our approval process draft of uh, year 24 25 in the public domain and you have you might have seen if you have seen the draft we have opened the technical education sector for in all arenas right in all way we have opened the technical education so please and we have uh, emphasized more on skills we have asked institution to integrate skills with your courses and we have prepared curriculums of many of the disciplines with the help of the industries some of the curriculums they are entirely framed by the industries and we have kept on these these curriculum syllabus on our website and we are not forcing any institution to follow this curriculum in toto right this is the model curriculum they can modify this model curriculum as per their require uh, the requirement as per the expertise of the institute or expert as per the local needs of that area so these all measures they we have taken and i hope with this type of collaboration and the recommendation final recommendation will request the organizer should share with us uh, when you compile the report you share the report will also read that report and whenever uh, we we revise our policy because we are revising policies frequently things are changing very rapidly so we will definitely incorporate the suggestion um, which you will take in this uh, conclave i once again thanks the organizers inviting me giving me opportunity to share the views what we are doing at uh, uh, government of india side aict side thank you very much namaskar jai bharat thank you so much uh, professor rajiv kumar will be surely sharing the outcome of this conference in the document uh, through a document uh, event report uh, with you to all the stakeholders so that some action can be taken in the future based on this discussion of today's event and as you have rightly said that aict is coming up with some sops which will be there tomorrow or day after and how aict is trying to help uh, universities and others uh, to uh, in terms of curricula uh, for that skilled work to ensure that skilled workforce uh, thank you from aict let